So yeah, I found my guitar. It's in one piece. Band rehearsal was kind of meh. Our drummer did get three songs recorded. So that's a good start. But in the meantime, I figured I'd kind of just make this tutorial right now really quick about um, tapping. Okay, so the way to do that, all right, I use my index finger, and I use my ring finger, and then I use my middle finger. Okay, so anyways, you take your index finger, put it on the fifth fret. Okay, take your ring finger, put it on the seventh fret. Okay, take your middle finger, put it on the ninth fret. Okay, the next string is exactly the same. This five, seven, nine, same order. So for the low E and the low A, it is five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Okay, for the next string, you go up to the sixth fret with your index finger. And then for the seventh fret, and then and then for your ring finger, you do the seventh fret. And that is a full diatonic scale that you are hammer on in or tapping. Okay. Now if you want to continue the scale another octave, or I'll just show you the rest of the strings, you take your middle finger and you put it on the ninth fret again. Okay. Okay, and then you move down to the next string up. It's the G string, okay. And then on the G string it's the same pattern again. It is six, seven, nine. Six, seven, nine, okay. Okay, then move over to the next string. Your index finger will go on the seventh, the seventh fret. And then your ring finger will go on the ninth fret. And then your middle finger will go on the tenth fret. And there's that second octave. The very next string is exactly the same. It is seven, nine, ten. And there you go. That's diatonic, triplet, or whatever, you know, that's that's all the way up to the strings. Very easy way, easiest way to shred on guitar. I'd say probably just work on a scale at a time or work on the two strings at a time. Just do the first two since they're all the same. You just kind of do that, you know, go slow. First, the first two strings are five, seven, nine. The next two strings are six, seven, nine. And then the last two strings are seven, nine, ten. Just to get used to that. And there you go. That is an A major diatonic scale that you are tapping. So yeah, that's just like more complicated, more advanced uh, tapping. Honestly, it's the easiest way to shred and people look at you like you're a pro when you do it, you know, but that's just the, the easy way to finger stylingly shred. <laughs> that's the best intro. Um, and that's really all I do is tapping. You know, all of the stuff I do that's shreddy and fast noted, it's all tapping. It's all hammer on and pull off. But yeah, that's basically it. I just figured I'd just show everyone that. Um, just because there's a lot of tapping videos out there where people are just like, like, like why not just take like the extra degree and just go like a little more complicated where you will have like like three times the variety of flavor and will introduce you to every aspect of music in regards to chops, in regards to music theory. There's different ways to do it, but that's the easiest way to do it, especially in the major diatonic scale. That is, you know, every two strings is the same fret placement, so. So yeah, um, figured I'd just show you guys that. Cool, Rocco.